a construction zone, yeah. and there was a big sign that said dip. <laughs> and then like 50 feet later on the same road, there was a big sign that said bump. And I was thinking, why don't they just take the bumps and put them in the ditch? <laughs> Just even that road right out there. You would save six kinds of sign money, wouldn't you? <laughs> road work ahead, dip ahead, dip, bump ahead, bump, and road work. <laughs> my engine light on my car. I bought my car three years ago. Ten minutes after I bought it, the engine light came on and has been on ever since. Until this morning. When it went off all of a sudden for no reason. I hope it's nothing serious. <laughs> The other day I got stuck in a no left turn only lane. No left turn only. I didn't know what to do. I just ended up taking the plates off and leaving it there. That's what I did. How come you call a guy that's been in a lot of wrecks reckless? Shouldn't he be a wreckful driver? That's my job, to think up goofy stuff like this while you guys work. Yeah. Stuff like, where do homeless people have 95% of their accidents? <laughs> if an armless guy has a gun, is he armed? <laughs> it's impossible to say eBay in Pig Latin? You can't do it. I've been trying for a week. eBay, baby. It's already Pig Latin. That's the problem. It's Pig Latin for B. It's like, let's wait on right. I just got unstayed by an eBay. How come some things burn up and other things burn down? And we have no control over it. We just accept it. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'll give you an example. Hey, Mom, where are all those old pictures of Grandma? Oh, they burned up when the house burned down. Oh, that's what happened to those. I, I saw a show on A&E. This was great. This guy got, it was a documentary. This guy got stabbed in the heart. And, and it, he was fine. It, they, it, every, it went, didn't hit the right spots and everything was fine. And they interviewed him. And you know what he said in the interview? He said, I am the luckiest man in the world. That's what he said. Yeah, and you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, what about all of us people who never got stabbed in the heart? <laughs> fit on his little fantasy chart, his little luck graph. Oh man, I love Vegas. Are you gambling? Yeah. yeah, I love it. I'm not good at it though. I tried counting cards. I keep getting 52. I'm good at the slot machines. There's one out here in the corner. Every time I put in a dollar, I win a Coke. Like, Come on, Coke. Go, go. Daddy needs a beverage. Go, go. Oh man. Oh, you know what I saw here in Vegas? I saw a transvestite walk into a woman's bathroom. That takes balls. <laughs> I'm not gay myself. I, I have one thing in common, though, with gay guys. We have the same amount of sex with women. <laughs> yeah, we just... We diverge at that point. And, uh, but that's my problem, isn't it? I... Uh, I love it here in Vegas. You know, Evil Knievel used to live here. I met him like 10 years ago when I first moved here. He, I was walking past the fountains at Caesar's Palace one night, and he tried to jump me. <laughs> yeah, he twisted his ankle. It was in the paper. <laughs> you know what? This is weird. They have these new... They have these pool parties here in Vegas now. Have you heard of them? These big fancy pool parties? They even have, have naked ones, like nude beaches. They're pools, but you're allowed to, like, like European, you can go naked. I got arrested there this summer. You know what they tried to charge me with? They tried to charge me with putting on my sunscreen too fast. 